Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all. So now we still under chapter 3 which is coordinate system but we'll go to a new subtopic here which is quadrate surfaces of 2 and 3 variables. This is week 7 part 1 video. So you will learn now for this subtopic how to plot in 3 dimension. Before this, you have learned the introduction of one, two, and three dimensional coordinate system. You also learn how to plot in one dimensional and two dimensional coordinate system. And for this two dimensional coordinate system, you learn about linear and quadratic equation. So now we will use our previous knowledge when we want to go to this three dimensional coordinate system. To understand better about this topic, we need to learn by doing example. So now we start here with this example 1. Let's say we want to interpret the graph of x equal to 3 in one dimension, 2 and 3 dimensional coordinate system. For example, x equal to 3 in one dimension. Let's say we have this one as our coordinate system. x equal to 3 in this coordinate system just given by a single point. So our x equal to 3 is located at this location and then for x equal to 3 in two dimensional coordinate system is a straight line we know here x equal to 3 is given by this one it is a straight line on uh, that cross this x axis and is given by this straight line now we want to interpret the graph of x equal to 3 in three dimensional coordinate system so we will have here three dimensional coordinate system this is our x axis, the green line is y axis, and the blue line is c axis. We know from previous two-dimensional coordinate system, for x equal to 3, we will got straight line that cross x equal to 3 at x axis. Same happened here. So now for this x axis, we will have a straight line that cross this x equal to 3. Now we will need to plot a parallel line to this line which is going up uh, to the z axis and going down to the z axis. So now we will have here several lines okay, which is going up and then the line that is going down which is in this case there is unlimited value of z. And then we can draw here our plane, which is our plane, we'll got it is this kind of plane. Okay. So this plane refer to our x equal to three equation. Let's go to this example 2. Let's say we want to sketch the surface of z equal to 5. For example, the point or a point of z equal to 5 is located here. You can draw a straight line which is cross this point. So we will have here the straight line like this. And then you can draw a parallel line to this line because when we plot in three-dimensional coordinate system, it cannot be just a line. It should be a Plane. So now we will have another parallel line to this z equal to 5 on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Okay, and then we can draw here a plane so that we will have this kind of plane. Now we go to example 3. We want to sketch the surface of y equal to x. Previous example, we will have equation only for one variable, which are x equal to 3 and z equal to 5. Now we have two variables, which are y and x. For this case, to make sure that you can have uh, you have better understanding, let's start to plot in two-dimensional coordinate system first. We know the graph for y equal to x is given by this line. Okay, this one is y equal to x. We can transform this line into three-dimensional coordinate system. So we can have this kind of line. If, if we just based on this x and y axis, you will got actually same line as this two-dimensional coordinate system. But now we want to plot on three-dimensional coordinate system. So now once we have this line, 
you can plot a parallel line uh, to the left and to the right of this y equal to x. So here we will have, we will have here the line like this. Okay, this one you can plot a straight line parallel to this uh, y equal to x left and right. And based on this, we can later plot a surface. So now to plot a surface, okay, let's say, let's say I have here this kind of plane. Okay, so this roughly my plane for y equal to x. Now, let's we go to this example 4. We need to sketch the surface of x plus y equal to 2. In this case, before we go to 3 dimension, we need to get the idea or the view of this line in 2 dimensional coordinate system. So, if you look at this equation, this equation is a linear equation. Means that we can write our equation in terms of y equal to negative x plus 2 which is here you can get your gradient or slope equal to negative 1 your c equal to 2 and then you can compute the intersection point at inter our intercept of x exists which is when y equal to 0 we have negative x plus 2 equal to 0 so x here equal to 2 means that our intersection point intercept value of y is Two, and intercept value of x is 2. When we plot the line here, we'll have got a straight line like this. And then you can transform. Now we want to transform our line in two-dimensional coordinate system to a plane in three-dimensional coordinate system. So you can see here, this line will cross x and y axis at point 2. The same happened for three-dimensional coordinate system. Our straight line will cross a point of x equal to 2 and also y equal to 2. So we will have here this kind of straight line. And from here, we can plot another line that is parallel to this straight line. So you will have here a straight line. So this one should be straight line, which is for z value, there is unlimited value of z. Okay. And then going down here, which is straight line. In fact, this one should be a straight line, which is parallel to that line. Okay. And then from here, I will have a surface that is given by this thing. Now we go to this example 5. We want to sketch the surface of 3x plus z equal to 6. In this case, you can imagine your two-dimensional coordinate system has x and z exist. So, what we have here is just a straight line. We can use our knowledge in previous week. So, we can write here our z equal to negative 3x plus c, which is here we have m equal to negative 3, c equal to 6. And then when z equal to 0, we can have here 3x equal to 6, which is x equal to 2. So this, our intercept point, intercept point of z, this one is x intercept. So now we have this point as x intercept and this 6 as z intercept. Based on this, we can have a straight line like this. And then we can transform this straight line into three-dimensional coordinate system. In this case, this is our x axis. The red color here is our x axis. And the blue one is z axis. And the green one is y axis. So here, you know your points should intersect or at this x equal to 2 and also at this z equal to 6. When you plot, you will have here a straight line like this. But to plot in three dimension, this equation will give a surface. Means that here we need to draw a parallel line to this straight line. 
the draw to the right not really straight and then draw to the left and then we can draw for example this one is our surface To get a better view, you can also sketch the surface in GeoGebra. So this is a link of a GeoGebra for 3D calculator. You can input your function here and the output of the graph will appear at this location. Now I want to show you how can we do or plot or sketch our example 5 in GeoGebra. If you still remember example 5, we need to sketch a surface of 3x plus z equal to 6. So we need to input a function here which is 3 times x plus z equal to 6. And then directly the output will be appear here. So if you see this is uh, the intersection point of x axis and this one is the intersection point of z axis. To test your understanding, please do these exercises. Sketch the following place, you can do it manually and also you can do it in GeoGebra for comparison. Thank you. See you in week 7 part 2 video.